The idea of a German engineered case coming across my build desk sounds crazy intriguing, especially as a massive fan of Porsche automobiles. So when I had an opportunity to build in the Be Quiet Dark Base Pro 900 Rev2, whoo, I was actually more than a little excited. Was the excitement misplaced? Well, we find out right now, right here on Robitech. The Dark Base Pro 900 Rev2 is exciting on paper. I mean, this case is jam packed with a ton of customization and options and what you can do with this case looks to be extremely exciting. If you're wanting to do a build in this behemoth, it's gotta be awesome because you're gonna be spending $269 for this case, which is a premium price. So what does that almost $300 get you? Well, that seems to be a fair question. And when it comes to the Dark Base Pro 900 Rev2, the fortunate answer is a lot. Starting off, this is a big case, coming in at 9.5 inches wide, or 243 millimeters, 23 inches tall, or 286 millimeters, and 22 inches wide, or 577 millimeters, and weighs 35 pounds, or 16 kilograms. See how I was like universal with my math? The other big highlight before we get into the nitty gritty is the ability to do things like change the interior layout. And not just by a little, but dramatically to better suit what you might be building inside of this case. You want a bunch of hard drive trays and do a NAS build? You can do that. Want an inverted motherboard build and cram in a bunch of over the top water cooling? Sure, why not? I mean, when Be Quiet says its modularity options are for every demand imaginable, as you dive into what this case is capable of, it's easy to see why Be Quiet is touting that. I mean, heck, they even threw in a wireless charger at the top of the case so you can charge your phone while you're on your PC. Well, the fact that it's as tall as some end tables does make this little addition not completely ludicrous. This does actually have the option for an optical drive or similar form factor device, zip drive anybody, should you actually want to have one in your build with the included five and a quarter inch bay. That is also made to run very, very silent with sound dampening material on the side, front, and even noise dampened vents across the top. Now I guess that means that it would come at the cost of cooling if you wanted to run in silent mode, like a submarine hunting in the ocean. And we'll talk more about that when we get to thermals. Speaking of the cost of cooling, you should check out our brand new New Era baseball jackets. They're gonna keep you warm in the cool, clean air, and they look super spiffy. Check it out right now at robotechstore.com. Okay, let's start breaking down what you can actually do with this thing, shall we? For motherboard, you have the full gamut of support. And that does mean each one for reals, meaning you can actually run cables, etc. That means mini ITX all the way up to EATX is supported. For fan support, you can do three by 140 millimeter fans at the front without the included five and a quarter inch bay, two if you wanna keep the bay. You can do four by 120 millimeter or three by 140 millimeter at the top with the ability to do two by 120 or two by 140 at the bottom. Yes, at the bottom of the case, as well as 140 millimeter or 120 millimeter exhaust at the rear. The case comes included with two of the Be Quiet Silent Wings 3 fans pre-installed in the front and a single 140 millimeter Silent Wings 3 fan installed in the rear. For radiator, you can do all the way from 120 millimeter all the way up to 140 millimeter at the front. It's a similar story for the top as well. For radiator support, going as high as supporting something like that behemoth H170i Elite Capellix from Corsair that Linus installed in our Linus versus Robitech build off, which you can actually check out right here. You can also do a 120 millimeter or 140 millimeter radiator in the rear, should you choose. Now for hard drive support, you can do a lot with this case. You have the option of up to seven, that's right, seven three and a half inch HDDs installed and up to 14 two and a half inch SSDs for a sweet, sweet NAS build if you like. Now the Dark Base Pro 9 Rev2 comes with five three and a half inch bays and 10 two and a half inch slots out of the box. Now, if you're wanting to max out, you'll need to purchase some additional accessories. For clearances, you can do up to 185 millimeter tall CPU cooler, which means pretty much most consumer coolers are covered. For GPU, you can do up to 323 millimeters long with the HDD cages installed and up to 427 millimeters long without the cages installed. For PSU, you can do 284 millimeters if you don't install a bottom fan, but if you want that additional GPU cooling, it's going to bring that size down to 150 millimeters. You do have a front, 
bottom and side panel removable dust filter. And because it's a Be Quiet case, you do have installation and dampening on the front and side, as well as anti-vibration additions for hard drives, fans, PSU, and of course the motherboard tray. Like I said, there are a ton of customization options in this case, but enough about the freaking potential. Let's actually build in it and see what the build experience is like. Starting with our CPU, we're using the Ryzen 9 5950X, the RG Crosshair Dark Hero, G-Skill Ripjaw 5. Uh, this is the 4000 megahertz, it's CL16, so it's really, really uh, fast. Uh, the Be Quiet Silent Loop 2, the Samsung 980 Pros. Uh, we got four terabytes of storage right there. Uh, this is the Seasonic Prime uh, TX1000, the Asus ROG Tough uh, 3080 Ti. That's all of our parts. I love this board. Oh, look at that peel. Oh yeah. There appeal, air appeal, everywhere appeal, peel. Okay, here we go, 5950X. You can see the pins down here at the bottom. We're just gonna put it in sideways just like that. Drop it in and there you go. CPU is in. Just an easy kind of like twist and pop in. There we go. Okay, so those are ready. Okay. Now, the MOBO is ready. There we go. Okay, so now, the PSU shroud is off. There is our motherboard. Okay, cold plate is on now. RTX 3080 Ti. Let's get our shroud on. There it is, I hear it. It's quiet. There's a lot of options in this case, and that's putting it lightly. However, that type of customization comes at a heavy cost to the ease of just building. If you watch the full live stream here, you'll notice I had some issues with it numerous times. I mean, one such example was the PSU. It's not standard, it's kind of, a, it's kind of in the middle of the case, buried beneath the not so simple to remove PSU shroud, and it isn't exactly straightforward on how you install it in the first place. Now, for thermal purposes and noise, there's probably a reason as to why it's there, but if you're a new builder trying to paw your way around this build for the first time, this case is going to have frustrating moments like this. I mean, heck, I have built 200 plus systems this year, and I had plenty of, uh, huh? moments when working on the case. That's not to say this is like the Montex Sky 1, which felt like no one had actually ever tried to build in the case, but more like upgrading from something like iMovie to Premiere or Final Cut. There's a lot more refined experience, but it's at the cost of a more complicated and less user-friendly experience. So build experience aside, what about the performance in thermals then? Now normally, I don't take time explaining the difference between open and closed case. It seems pretty straightforward. But in this specific example, it seemed relevant. We talk about open case, what we mean is that all areas that can be opened are, and that there is as little impedance as possible to the airflow in regards to the build. So the sides are off, the front's off, anything we can take off the case is, is taken off. But in the closed case, we put it as it was meant to be used, meaning that the side panels are on and anything else by default is actually put back on the case. In this particular build, it's a little bit different because that can mean a lot of things. So what we did was create the worst case for default, meaning that if it could be attached as a panel or whatever to this case, we did so. Meaning that if you don't put the panel on the top of the case or on the front of the case, you could see improvements in your thermals in the closed case scenario. 
So starting with CPU thermals for our Ryzen 9 5950X running in a slightly negative pressure situation with six Be Quiet Silent Loot 3 fans, we saw nothing unusual with idle temperatures sitting in the mid 30s in the open case configuration and a nine point jump to 44 in the closed case scenario. No surprise that quiet comes at the cost of thermals. Now, when we throttle things up and soak the CPU at 100% for half an hour using Ida 64, we did see a jump of up to 64 in the open case scenario and a 15 degree jump up to 83 in the closed case scenario. The hero here is the new revision of the Be Quiet Pure Loop 360 I.O., which is handedly keeping the CPU cool while genuinely being starved for air somewhat. It's actually very impressive. Now for the Asus Tough Gaming GeForce RTX 3080 Ti, we also see a very similar story. At idle, nothing crazy, sitting at 40 and managing its cool with no problem. We only see a four degree jump to 44 in the close case scenario. Now, when we turn up the juice though, and soak benchmarks for half an hour, we see this jump up to 62 degrees in the open case scenario, and only a five degree jump to 67 in the close case scenario. So what does this mean? Well, it means frankly, even when the case is rigged for silent mode, come on man, that sounds, it's so submarine, it's rigged for silent mode. What it means is that the thermal performance of the silent wing fans and the Be Quiet Pure Loop AIO are actually really good. And you will only see better improvements in the thermals as you remove panels to allow for noise. You're not gonna have any thermal throttle and maybe not even have the missus or mister knowing that you're up gaming super late into the night because you're stealth. Shh, you can't see or hear me. But if you don't wanna do this in this configuration, you'll be fine also. So thermals, check. So games, coming up. First up, single player RTX experiences, given this is an NVIDIA GPU paired with an AMD Ryzen 9 5950X and an ASUS Tough RTX 3080 Ti. First up, we have Dirt 5 running at 1440p with ultra high graphic settings, and we saw an average FPS of 124 frames per second. Tearing up some rubber here, for sure. For Metro Exodus running at 1440p, running with ray tracing on high and DLSS set to balance, we saw an average FPS across our runs of 92.7. For Tomb Raider running at 1440p with DLSS on and the highest preset, we saw an average frame rate of 187 FPS across the runs that we did in the game. Quiet and powerful, I might add. Lastly, and rounding out the single player experiences, with Borderlands 3 running at the highest graphical preset, we saw an FPS average of 124.13. So what about MP? Well, for Apex Legends, running on low visual settings at 1440p, optimized for competitive gameplay and high frame rate, we saw an average frame rate of 282.2 FPS across our multiple game sessions. For Call of Duty Warzone on low visual settings, again, 1440p, set for competitive gameplay and maximizing frames per second, we saw an average frame rate of 218.9 FPS. That is fantastic. Now finally, for Fortnite at 1440p on low visual settings, set for competitive play, crushing, I mean, just smashing the 360 FPS barrier, coming in at a nice and ridiculously fluid 509.3 FPS. That's right, over 500. I, just, I, I don't even know what to say, that's So thermals and gaming in this build are pretty much great. So wrapping it all up, the Be Quiet Dark Base Pro 900 Ref 2 is a really well-engineered case that really has modularity options for every demand possible. But it's not for everyone possible, as this case really seems to be targeted at a very specific audience. Does that mean that not everyone can build in this case? No. It means that the case will be giving you challenges that aren't necessary for features that you may never use. There are other cases with just as awesome thermals and performance or being quiet and they are so much easier to build in. But if you're looking for just a ton of those options and maybe some out of the box weird customization, this may be the case for you. But it's not just about what I think. What do you think? Do you feel like you would potentially pick up a Be Quiet Dark Base Pro? Is there something about this case that really draws you in? Do you like Porsches and you think that this should be sponsored by Porsche? I don't know why I think that, but you know, I just like to get Porsche into the conversation. Anyway, guys, I'd love to know all of that down in the comments below. Now, while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button with that like button and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time we post a video or go live right here on Robitech.
Speaking of live, we have a live show and it's on a new schedule every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, starting at 4 p.m. Pacific time, if you wanna check that out. You can also check out our Amazon live shows on Tuesdays and Fridays, starting at noon, where we'll be talking about the best deals and just walking through some super cool tech. Speaking of tech, we have an amazing tech community over at discord.gg slash robytech. You should totally check it out. It's really awesome. You can ask questions about PC builds, talk about tech that you really like, or you know, go with us on a fitness journey. I know that has nothing to do with tech, but it's something you can do anyway. You can also follow us on all the socials at robytech. Check it out on any one of those. We'd love to see you, love to have you say hi. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and we will see you on the next one.